There are three toolbars included with Artisan, Subdivision, Sculpt, and Transform. In this video, we'll discuss the options on the Transform toolbar. These tools are used for selecting and transforming vertices, edges, faces, and control points. Artisan Select, Move, Rotate, and Scale are similar to the same tools in SketchUp's native set, but they work within the Artisan framework, as we'll see throughout this video. The last two tools, Make Planar and Sketchy FFD, are unique to Artisan. To demonstrate these tools, I'm starting with this dome shaped object, which is composed of quad faces. New in Artisan 2 is support for quad face quads. The subdivide operation produces quads, which are planar or non planar four sided faces. Turning on Hidden Geometry displays the hidden edges that separate each quad's planar triangular faces. But even though quads may be non planar, Artisan maintains these faces as quads after transform operations, a powerful feature that enables highly flexible organic modeling. When I activate the Native Select tool, I can click to select a face, double click to select a face plus its edges, and triple click to select all connected faces. Artisan Select works a bit differently. There are two selection modes, Hard and Soft, and the current mode is listed at the top left. In Hard Selection mode, Clicking a face selects not only the face, but also its four vertices, which are not selected via the Native Select tool. Double-clicking a face selects the face, edges, and vertices, and triple-clicking selects all connected faces, edges, and vertices. The Shift and Control keys work similarly as well, with Shift toggling what's selected, Control adding to what's selected, and Shift plus Control removing. Modifier keys for the Windows version will be referred to in this video. Mac users can substitute the Option key for Control. Individual edges can also be selected and multi-selected, and I can also select one or more vertices. Double-clicking an edge selects the corresponding edge loop, and pressing the Escape key clears the selection. Window selection works a bit differently than the Native Select tool. Dragging from left to right or right to left selects everything only within the window, not just touching the window. And of course, vertices are included in the selection. With the Native Select tool, window selection includes any geometry behind the window, which is easy to see in X-ray mode. With Artisan Select, this is also the case by default. But if I hold the Alt key, or Command on the Mac, objects behind the selection window are not selected. Artisan Select also has its own context menu, with several useful features that will be covered in other tutorials. And, like with native SketchUp tools, there are tool hints in the lower left corner. The other selection mode is Soft Selection, which I can toggle with the Tab key. This selection type uses a radial influence area, or falloff distance, which will look familiar if you've used the Smooth tool. The radius of the selection boundary appears in the Radius field, which I can change by typing a new value. I can also nudge the radius up or down by tapping the left or right arrow keys or the square bracket keys. Or, while holding either an arrow or square bracket, I can adjust the radius by moving the mouse up or down. The selection radius also aligns to the contours of the quads. After I click to set the selection, either on a vertex, edge, or face, all vertices within the radius are selected and colored by weight. For whatever option will be performed next, the selected red vertices will be affected with 100% weight, with weight approaching zero the farther the vertices are located from red. Let's now look at Artisan Move. For this and other Artisan Transform tools, Artisan now supports three axes modes, with the current mode indicated at the top left and by the cursor icon. These modes come into play when you use axis constraints during an operation. This means using the right, left, and up arrows to lock red, green, and blue, or shift locking an axis direction. The various axes modes provide unlimited flexibility in getting the move direction you need as compared to the Smooth tool, which only moves vertically. Local axes are aligned to the selected entities at the center of the selection. If I lock the blue direction with the up arrow and click two points to define the move, the selection center moves in the local blue direction with red vertices moving the full distance, greens moving about halfway, and vertices further back moving closer to zero. Note that during a move, 
and throughout the other tools, quads are maintained using autofold when necessary. Tapping the Alt key toggles the axis mode. View mode, as indicated by the eye icon on the cursor, means that the axes are relative to the current view, no matter how the object is oriented, with red and green along the screen and blue pointing straight out. So, if I face the selection head-on, I can lock the move to red and move the vertices to the left or right. Tapping Alt again takes me to World Axes, with a little globe on the cursor, which uses the current SketchUp model axes. If I lock the blue direction this time, the move is vertical or parallel to the model's blue axis. In this model, I'll soft select these vertices, then activate Artisan Rotate. In any axis mode, the protractor aligns to faces below, unless an axis is locked in. Switching the axis mode to View, I'll orbit to the view I want, tap the up arrow to rotate about the view's blue axis, and this rotation would be based on the view. Pressing Escape cancels the rotation, and I'll switch to Local Axes, which are based on the center of the selection. Locking the red direction this time rotates the vertices around their center. Switching again to World Axes, locking to the blue axis rotates the vertices around the model's blue axis. To demonstrate Artisan Scale, I'll soft select this relatively planar area, then activate the tool. In Local Axes mode, the scale box is aligned with the selected vertices. With View Axes, the box aligns to the view and we have world axes that follow the model axes. To demonstrate Make Planar, I'll start with a hard selection, then activate the tool. As with Artisan Rotate, in any axes mode, the target plane aligns to any face the cursor touches, and when I click, all vertices jump to that plane. When I undo, no vertices remain selected, but when I return to Artisan Select, the previous selection remains active. With World Axes, the planes align to the model planes, so I can align all vertices to the model's blue plane. Local Axes align to the plane of the selected entities, so when I lock the blue plane in this mode, the vertices jump to the plane best fit to the selected entities. And in View Axes, I can move all vertices to the green plane relative to my view. I'll undo again, switch to a soft selection, and I can adjust the selection radius even after the vertices are selected. This time I'll use Make Planar in World Axes to move the red vertices the full distance along the green axis with the other selected vertices falling off gradually. The last tool is Sketchy FFD, or Freeform Deformation. Before using this tool, the geometry must be a group or component. Either in Native or Artisan Select, I can enter the group by double-clicking, and clicking Sketchy FFD brings up a cage of control points. By default, there are 3x3 three three sets of control points along each face, but I can enter 4, 4, 4, or any set of numbers to change this. Control points can be selected individually, shift-selected or window-selected, and any of the Artisan Transform tools can be used on selected points to deform the object inside the group. World is the only axis mode that can be used in Sketchy FFD. I'll select and artisan move these points along the model red axis, noting that the quads are fully maintained as the mesh deforms. I'll select these control points and artisan rotate around green, and I'll select and artisan scale these points, holding the control key to keep the scaling about the center. The icon on the Artisan Transform toolbar we haven't covered yet is the first one, Artisan Mode. In this mode, using the native SketchUp icons and their shortcut keys will invoke their Artisan counterparts. Move or M becomes Artisan Move, Rotate or Q becomes Artisan Rotate, Scale or S becomes Artisan Scale, and Select or Spacebar becomes Artisan Select. If you've set up custom shortcut keys for these native tools, those shortcuts will also invoke their Artisan counterparts. When Artisan mode is enabled, there is an indicator at the top left.